Okay, so I'm not on the moon. I'm on Earth, stepping in a bucket in a converted warehouse in Lacey, Washington. But I might as well be walking on the moon. We can now hazard a really good guess what is there. Melissa Roth. Testing conditions are so important. And Vince Rue run off-planet research. Vince's dad worked on Boeing's lunar rover. I remember watching that going, I'm going to be that guy. Now they hope to help the next guy return. We simulate extraterrestrial environments for testing space-based technology. Wait, say that again? We simulate extraterrestrial environments for testing space-based technology. If you need moon dust, you call these guys. If you're going to be spending you know, huge amounts of money to get your technology to the moon or to deeper space, you want to make sure it's going to work. They're the only commercial source on Earth for moon dust. And it is dust. I'm not a fan of the word dirt, because dirt to me implies that you have bugs and grass and leaves. They describe it as kind of like cake flour with jagged edges. It really likes to coat it and stick to the sides. It's called simulant because it simulates what's 240,000 miles away. Surface is fine and battery. The conversation with us is, hey, we need simulant. And our first question is, well, what kind? And the answer comes back usually, what do you mean, what kind? I got a choice? <laughs> they are the only choice that offers a choice for whatever side you plan to explore. There's the light portions and the dark portions of the moon. The light portions are the anorthosite, which is this material, um, which is really fascinating stuff. Uh, and then the darker portions are the basalts. They source their rocks from Arizona and the Arctic region in northern Canada. We'd love to show you how they grind them to dust, but when we ask what's behind the blue curtain? Back where? <laughs> that is our manufacturing area. Even if we were allowed to see what's going on back there, it'd take a rocket scientist to copy. It involves everything. It involves physics, thermodynamics, chemistry, geology, you know, engineering, and some just hands-on, holy, what the heck just happened kind of situation. And it does take all the brains turned on and, and focused and working. Their team of three also includes Vince's daughter, Lauren. They hope their little moon dust factory can propel us to that next giant leap. The moon is hard. Uh, and so I think it really is going to take a united effort to get back there to stay. There you go. That's a good step. Yeah.